turn right or look straight at the side My mind's gone in circles, I'm trying to fight it Getting these voices inside to stay quiet Going to the place where all this began Just start again Oh, you won't see the light All right, welcome back to The Real Valley And as you've seen from the intro here I've realigned all these like everything is back on its on its track I just yeah just quickly did it at the end of the last episode uh, which would have been up like Wednesday yeah Wednesday if I'm correct and today we are going to get out of this place because there's no more money to make all the shunting jobs have been done uh, there is a whole lot of logistical halls that we are not going to do just yet because they do not pay a whole lot they are going to goods factory but these four i'm going to pick a few let's see you go there you go there i want to space these out i'm definitely going to pick this one I think this one that will make 800 and 400 that will make 1200 tons uh, that should be the exact rating for one loco as we can see here now that I have my mouse mode here in the for the flat 0% rating 1200 tons and since going to the harbor from the steel mill which is here's the steel mill that's where we are that's where the pin is it's mainly going to be downhill we just need to get it moving essentially uh, over the initial crest here um, it's not gonna be done with one just one is not enough so I've concocted up uh, this here uh, now I know I don't have the multiple unit license yet and yes I've turned around the locos so that they are facing the correct way because we are going in this direction and then that direction am I correct? I am correct you can see the blue arrow here changing direction as i'm turning around we need to go from here to here um the electric charger should be here as i see so i'm going to first try and find the electric charger uh, so that i can also show that now this is no it's not is it in here Oh yeah, I moved uh, the tutorial trailer or car, I moved it over there. It's the charger here, charger. That's fuel. There's the charger. High voltage! Watch out! 750 for an electric charge. Holy shit. Per unit. Now, what's a unit? Is that one kilowatt or is it a watt or what? Ah, that's funny. Ha, 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 ha. What? No, I don't. Uh, I don't know yet. But we will find out sooner or later. So, in order to drive this concoction, this mess of Frankenstein of locomotives are going to be able to pull everything I'm going to need I might as well just clean up a bit first just cleaning up a little bit there all right, uh, these two are definitely this two. 
not sure yet what I'm able to do. Licenses. All right. In order to not make this really difficult, I'm going to start with the multiple unit. Oh, first, I need to buy concurrent orders one. All right. It's Ten grand. And I have fifty. Removes reroll. Yeah, insurance copay plus four thousand. Not too bad. Ah, progress. <laughs> I just noticed. <laughs> hey, do they all have that? Great length one, yes. Great length two, yes. Freight hall, yes. Jumping, yes. And train driver, yeah. They all have progress. DE2, also. Awesome. Uh huh. All right. Well, good to know. Good to know. Um. All right. I was on the licenses. I was going for multiple unit. That's thirty grand. All right. Pro aggress again. Plus five thousand. Minus one percent. Time limit. And there we go. And in order, I think. I can still buy that. Uh, 20 grand. Yes. Can exactly buy that. 20 grand for the manual service. Because the insurance copay is getting a little bit of out, out of hand now. Uh, if we are going to look at uh, the fees tab, can I? No. Tax tab. Uh, money current copay remaining is twenty four thousand dollars. The total is twenty eight thousand. There's a five thousand feet tolerance, so as long as I don't go over five thousand, they will tolerate everything. Um, minus seven percent, and I have nine out of twenty two licenses already. So, yeah, I'm going to take this one and this one together. H88 and FH40. Yeah. I think this is 88. Yeah. And this is 40. Oh, they're right next to each other. That's good. That's 24. That's 24. That's 24. It's 40. Are we separated? Yes, we are separated. All right. So first of all, I'm going to put this one at the back of that one. And I'm going to drive my loco around it through this track. And then I will accept the orders. But in preparation, finally, link up. And link up. Now, this is one big train now. Already. I need to open you. On, 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 and on. And the last one, on, 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 good. Now if I move this one all the way back, you can see here it's also moved all the way back. And to prove, it's also moved right here. And going back, moved, and it's moved. That's what multiple unit does. It will make every movement as one. Uh, this one goes that way, that one goes that way, so we are going to see an evil eye of anger somewhere. Are we seeing a up? And we see the evil eye of anger 
should also be set here perfectly. Yep. No. Oh, the fan does not transfer over. All right. It's only in the one cap. Too bad. Would have been nice. <laughs> Would have been fun. There's also another thing that only works in one. That's the starter. You need to start all of them manually. But we don't need to start all of them manually just yet. Yeah, it's off. All right. We are going into this one. It's off. I know that. But because. All right. I forgot. We have paid our fees that will reset all the locos to the handbrake. Sadly, those are all manual as well. We only need one loco currently. And this is the perks of the multiple unit. You can, from any loco in the consist, you can just control everything. Alright, um, need to go to the front one. This is where I'm going to be most of the time. Now this is two DE2s, that's uh, a DE4, not a DH4, but a DE4, because it's all both D diesel electric. I don't think that works like it, but th that works the same way, but I'd like to think it is. So all three together would be a DE6 equivalent. I like to think that way, even though it's not. Slow it down a little bit. You see that station office? Doing some planning work here. The much needed maintenance. There we go. Did that damage? No damage. And no damage. Perfect. Now what's going to happen is... I'm going to run uh, the whole... So 40... Which one is 88? I think this one is 88. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it this one all the way at the end? It's perfect. Okay, keep the handbrake on. On that one. Am I going to be able to reach that? Not yet. I need to push a little bit.
while we are uh, rolling up on the train <laughs> one unit is a locomotive multiple units are a train there we go look up air no need to push air but the damage good take off the handbrake it's good 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 it's starting to rain it all right before it's getting really wet let's go Push. Even with sand because it's already wet. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Still need to accept the jobs. Gosh darn. Totally forgot. This one. And this one thank you very much we will see where to bring them after when we get near to them there we go and start pulling I was so focused on getting it moving already I totally forgot to accept the jobs. <laughs> Alright, seven. You are going to E9 inbound. And you are going to D4 inbound. This is the short one. Yeah. So we are going to D4 inbound first. Mistake, 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 mistake. We are now going towards City Southwest. We need a lot of power to get this stuff moving. Imagine having to do this with just a single loco. It's barely possible. Minus 1.7% grade. We're not going that way though. Plus 0.6% grade. That's where we're going. Now, in the meantime. The back of our consist is still inside harbor and is still inside inside the steel mill. You need to keep that in mind. Let's get started on moving. Turning up the temperature and turning up the heat. Turning up the power. Start moving a little bit more. No need for the sand currently because we have traction on all the wheels. That's the wheel slip indicator.
we're managing, we're managing, we're doing good. Let's get going. Let's plan ahead. Next one is going. Next one is here. This turning, we are going to the to the left. But let's keep this thing moving, though. Keep her rolling. on a 1.8% grade so we're nearly on a 2% grade do we remember 2% grade only 300 tons we are running 1200 we are pulling 1200 tons remember So our three locos are rated for 900. We should actually have another one, but eh. we got some momentum behind us. And it's not completely 2% and it's completely wet yet we need more sand because we are going up the grade uh. Keeping steady at 20, that's that's good for now. Um, I hope that we're able to get over it fairly quickly. The next grading is going down, it, sh it says. Or it's going to be less of a grade. There's a Y split that... 0.2 kilometers still keeping steady at 20 that's good I am looking forward to the left side Jeez, this fog really did something huh fog is heavy do like it though do like it for the game we are at line for the left we are allowed 70 but we will not do 70 just yet we are pushing our sand no need for pushing the sand anymore just the fuel Keep an eye on the oil. The brakes are good. The main reservoir is full still. So we will keep going. Now in clear weather, this would be quite a view. You will see the car is probably already still there. going to a 60 with a Y and then we will be going to the left again um yeah we will be going to the left again and 
we will just keep pushing this loco and this whole consist actually. We are slowly working our way up to 30. Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's see the harbor in town. It's here. To the left. Another 70 allowed. This one, uh, that's the military base. Overview, we are D and E, right? Seven, that's E, that's D. So we are going to do the D yard first. Um, what's the best way to do it? Are we able to push it back into here or... Maybe it's better to do the E yard first. We just pull in. Maybe grab a loco from here. One P and then push it in there. We'll see, we'll see. When we get there, eventually... We are up to... 50 already and that's good we are ruling moving and grooving and we are happy to do it time to relieve some strain of the engine see what's going to happen with our speed we are bleeding a little bit of speed i see no more need for the wipers Those those twigs would not last a whole lot longer if we were passing by. Really, uh, we are going to push up more power because we are bleeding still. Uh, we are going towards a downgrading. Um, so our next siding will be right then left. Here we will keep it right, go through the tunnel, I guess, that it is, and then to the left. And then we should enter harbor and town. There. Just stop it. Now we are still bleeding speed. But we're still going. raining actually it should have been closed but what can you do from here this this is nice this is nice and yeah just if you find something that's really bugging or something like that a hole somewhere in the textures or whatever just let the devs know. I mean, it's still early access game. It's been like that for a couple of years now, but they're constantly improving, so I, I guess it's still fair, you know? It's still fair to be in early access and time to put some power on. We are still for a 70. So we are still allowed to get some speed up. Get some pollution in there. You know, in the real world, pollution is a bad thing, but in a fictional one, come on, man, look at that. Majestic. <laughs> no, it's bad either way, but you know, what can you do? Just push it to the limit. We got places to be, people to see, and things to do. Uh, this fog in the valley really 
really scenic, you know, it's it's pretty. I like it. It would have been nice if I would have been open able to open the window, but I can also stand here. Valley fog. Isn't it pretty? All right, um, still 50, still doing good. We are blind for the wrong side. We need to go through the tunnel and we're allowed 60. And we're allowed 70 and there is a minus 1.1% gray. We are allowed 60, we are not 60 yet. Now, that 60, you need to m keep in mind that it's for the back of the train and not the front. So we are coming up to, a si to 60 now. We will be speeding up if I keep the power on. So I'm just re releasing the power. And we need to brain break this. Otherwise, we are going to derail. Because we're heading on to a 40. We will be pushing a dangerous path. And then immediately put the power back on to keep it on the 40. Because then we're heading into a 70. I think we will keep it here. There we go. And I think I will go get a screenshot right about yeah. There. Uh screenshot taken. You would have seen it probably already. If it's become the thumbnail or not. I would like it to be, but if I find a better place then I will get it there. Now we're going into a 50 turn, which is fair enough, looks dangerous. So we are doing 50 still, <laughs> that's good, that's good. I can hear the wheels squeaking a little bit, but we are still safe. Currently we are almost there. This turn here is a really dangerous one. And this turn coming up is a 40. So we are slowing us down a lot quickly. Thirty to the forty. That's good. Speed it up a little bit, at least. We don't need to speed it up, but you know, for the sake of the video. <laughs> and then we're going into an eighty zone. Which we will not make it at 80, because by the time we get there, we need to go down to 40. Or 30 even, probably. I don't know. Here's a 70. So we are slowing down already. Right. Um, 60 with a Y split. We will be going to the left. It's lined correctly to the left. 
And we will be going into a 40. And here is City Arbor and Town. That's our location. Now the next one is a 60 with a minus 2.3% grade. Now we have to keep in mind that when we're going back out of here, this 2.3% grade is going to be against us. And taking into account that on a 2% grade, we are rated for 300 tons. This is gonna be a challenge. We are just going to take it really slow around this corner. I think it's rated for 40, but we are going to take it at 30. Yeah, 30 would be enough. And after that, we are running into our harbor and town. Mainly the harbor, but also some a little bit of town. Bye bye twigs. That's another 40. And then it's minus 0 0.6. That's going to be a plus later when we're going out. And we are aligned towards the town. Good, good, good. And we are just going to pull it in. Maybe I can get a nice one here. Nice shot. Might be able to. Let's try. And here we go. That's going into the this one. Now the S2H2 and the DE6 are only are here only, along with another DE2, no DH4. All right, so we are going to roll into the E yard. And then uh, we need to go into E9 inbound. So I'm going to line for E9. This is E10, so this is E9, which is U. U that way. Yeah. U that way. U that way. U that way. And we can go to Ah, we cannot go to D. All right. So we will have to disconnect here. Disconnect them both. This was E9 inbound, right? E8, E9 inbound. Yes. Perfect. Alright, uh, we are going to be at the full end. Because we need to also get around. So I will be stopping it at the end. 
around here. Yeah, the, the through path is free. There, by the time it's building, it has built the air. Uh, it's 40, 40. Still, oh, that's 88. All right. Then you are 40. Yes, perfect. Uh, you will be. Yeah. You can release. You can open. You can go. Uh, you can. And break. Then we are going here. Then you can release. You can close. You can close. You can release. And we are free from our earthly limits. And then we're going into uh, this to go through. You are set. Not yet. But it will set eventually. All right. back which is this stop put you over go reverse and power up hold up Put on all the brakes because these are spicy. It's nearly a disaster. That was nearly a disaster. All right. I would prefer not to do that. You, yep. Now we're good. Now to get us moving all the way to the end. the warning stickers on there yeah, that would have been a real disaster Ok, 
hier. Fuck you. Get you. You. And you. Just in case we need a train break. need a train break actually that's the station office you I think it's right there that way not this one Oh, that's F and G, I think, and then here is D. So we will dump the air. Turn you over. Close the air. go to the station office to redeem the first one because we're going to be passing by anyway uh, that's one seven validate drop it we have been doing this for 30 minutes that's 61 grand all right uh, next you should go in here Then I think he is uh, that way. Uh, which one do I need to go? D4 inbound. Seven, six, five, four. So give me so this one, we are aligned. Four, four. Inbound here, yes, yes. And you, and you are aligned correctly. This one I was shot. This one, release, and go away. Off. 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 We will roll in just like that. Just have enough. Right? We don't need to push it. Right? I feel like we're slowing down. A lot. I mean, I understand slowing down because of friction, but we're heavy and we should be. Ah, oh, we're going in today. We're going in. We should reach it all the way. Right? 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 At least we're straight. So that's less friction. We should now just keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Please keep rolling. Just one more car. Come on. One. I'm confident that we will make it. 
into the air. Turn on the handbrake. Close it. And let's go to the station office. How are you regenerating air without an engine running? Must be my imagination. Alright, uh, number 8. That's a U. 34 minutes we took. Out of 96. Alright. So we got uh, 34,000 out of that. Which brings our total at 102,000 bucks. But. The fees. There's three low costs to unique maintenance. Which will be done in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will. I would love to see you guys in the next one. Please don't forget to follow me on all the social media and Twitch as well. And hope you have yourself a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, subscribe and that notification bell as it really helps us out on this channel here. Follow me on every other social media platform. And of course, don't forget to join our Discord and have yourself a fantastic weekend. Peace out.